Street. 
just a simple carpenter, but with healing in his hands, could they really understand? They could not. Father's plan.
Good morning, Lexington Park Baptist Church. It is Easter morning, and he is risen. And I know I just heard everyone at home say he is risen indeed. So whenever you hear he is risen, even at home, you shout out, he is risen indeed. I'm so glad you're joining us for our Easter morning worship. This is not what we expected to have today. Obviously, we expect the house of God to be full, and I'm here at Lexington Park Baptist Church during the week of Holy Week. And I am here today broadcasting to you to an empty audience, but into your home. Even though we're scattered, we are gathered here today. So I want us to come together and worship like we've never worshipped before. May Easter 2020 be an unforgettable moment in your lives where God radically changes your life, just like he changed the lives of those disciples 2,000 years ago, because he is risen. I want to officially welcome everyone to Lexington Park Baptist Church, our watch party here today on Easter 2020. Today below on your screen, you will see the guest form. I encourage you to go to that guest form, even if you're our home folk today. Take the time to try this out. This is a great opportunity for our staff to figure out how this works. I want to thank Greg Mabry and all the other people that put effort into this, Dave Holtzom, Tasha, to make this possible. So please go down below, fill out the guest form. If you're also here, please at any time in the service, please feel free to check in at the Facebook to let us know that you're here down below. Just put, He is risen. He is risen indeed. And we'll know that you're here with us. Let us know how many are joining. And again, we are so glad you're here to worship with us for Easter 2020. Please join me in a word of prayer. Father God, we are so grateful to be in your house today. We are grateful that even though this house may not be the usual place where we worship today, we're in our homes. We're watching this through a screen, but we're still together to worship you. Just like that first Easter long ago when the disciples were in the upper room, not knowing what was going to happen. Right now, our world has uncertainty, just like theirs did in that moment. But because you are risen from the grave, there is hope. There is hope beyond the grave. There is hope beyond that moment the disciples experienced. And today, there is hope beyond COVID-19. So, Lord, we pray this Easter morning that your resurrection power will be with each and every one of us. That what we believe we know is greater than anything we will ever face in this life. So, Lord, we trust you. We praise you. We give you glory. And today, we experience and know the power of the empty grave. In Jesus' name, we pray these things. And all of God's people said, amen. So now I just want to do announcements with you. After we've gone through Holy Week this week, this next week we're going to go back to our normal digital discipleship program. So what's that look like for everyone if you're out there watching? First of all, Monday through Friday, every day at noon on my personal Facebook page is Words of Encouragement. I want to encourage you to please go and check that out. If you don't see it live, check it out later on. I'll make sure that it's published on our membership page and on our public page. Also, this week on Monday nights, you have your community groups where you can join. If you're not a part of a community group, because maybe you weren't plugged into Sunday school yet, or you didn't have a Bible study group, please either contact myself, Pastor Joe, or Randy Morse. Or you can email office at lpbconline.org, and you can get that information to the office, and we'll find a community group for you. Monday nights at 7 o'clock. And then Wednesday, we will go back to worship on Wednesdays. We hope you will join the McCombs family as we will bring music to you, and we'll bring a short devotion to you just to encourage you midweek throughout this, uh, this time, whatever, how long COVID virus lasts. And also on Sunday next week at 10 a.m. right here on the Lexington Park public page, we will have our worship and we will continue to worship here on Lexington Park Baptist Church uh, public page throughout the COVID uh, virus until this is over and we can come back together and worship. That's all I have for announcements now. Take it away, Gentle Ben. We now come to the time of pastoral prayer. I'd like you to join your hearts with mine and prepare your heart for this time where we can go before the Lord and pray. This Sunday, I, I want us just to pray that God's victory will be upon each and every one of us. That the church, through Easter, we can remember that there's victory beyond the darkness of the crucifixion because there was an empty grave we couldn't see. So today, as we're in the midst of uh, a global crisis, and we're in the midst of, you know, we're, we're all quarantined to our homes, it's not hopeless. 
You see, Easter is hope. Christ is hope. In fact, Christ and his resurrection is the living hope of God given and extended to each and every one of us. I would ask you to please bow your heads now and think about and pray about the hope that you have in Christ, the hope for your life, the hope of salvation, the hope for your family, the hope that is beyond the grave, that the grave could not hold him, nor will the grave hold us, because he's promised that all who come to him will not perish but have everlasting life. So let's pray to our risen Lord this Easter morning. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus, the risen King, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Lord, we give you all glory. We know that you have conquered death, and because you have conquered death, we have life. So Lord, this day, I pray for Lexington Park Baptist Church. I pray that even though this setback may seem great, the comeback is going to be even greater. And the empty tomb proves that. You are life. You are the resurrection and the life. And even though we may die, anyone who believes in you will live. So we claim that scripture this day, God. We claim the promises of Christ. We claim the promises of the empty grave. And today, Lord, we surrender our lives to you completely. We trust you in all the circumstances of this life. We may not know what today brings or tomorrow brings, but we know who holds tomorrow, and that's you. So we pray to you, the giver of all life, the author of all life, the finisher of all life. In these moments, we come to you and believe in you and trust in you. And Lord, we pray your blessing upon each and every one of us that's watching this video, that's worshiping digitally with us right now. Lord, we just pray a special blessing upon all of us. Watch over us. Take care of us. Keep us safe, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. As we come to a time of offering, I just want to encourage you right now. I have good news to bear. I want to thank every single one of you for your faithfulness. Our God is faithful and you, you have proven to be faithful to the Lord. Throughout this, most churches in the first month, which we've been going through this for a month, their, their giving goes down approximately about 20%. I want to thank you. We have maintained our giving, and we've maintained approximately where we need to be on our budget. We're about 95% on target for our budget. Praise God and thank you. I want to encourage you to continue to give. You can see below the digital giving link. Please, many of you have already transitioned to this and you've, you've taken the time to learn how to give digitally. Some of you are setting up ACHs with Mary. Some of you have been mailing in your checks. Whatever works best for you, I want to encourage you to continue to do that, continue to be faithful. And I even want to encourage you, in tough times like this, may we even give out of the abundance of how God has blessed us. And as we do that, we'll be prepared, and this is what's really important I want us to pray as we go to the Lord in, in giving today, that we'll be prepared post-corona for what God may call us to do. Let's not have financial restraints constrain us from doing the ministries that God may call us to. So again, I want to thank you for your faithfulness. And I want to ask you to test God as he says, bring your offering to me. And he will open up the heavens and pour out blessings that we can't even contain. I want to encourage you to continue to give faithfully. And again, I thank you for giving thankfully. Let's pray. Father God, as people take this time now to, to give back from the blessings that you've given them. Whether we're giving back a tithe or we're going beyond and giving an offering, Lord, we just pray that you will bless it to advance your kingdom, that you will use these monies that will be collected over this week and continuing throughout this whole season while we can't gather together, that you will expand your, your kingdom through our efforts, that you will prepare us for what you need us to do post-corona so that when we're called to be the hands and feet of Jesus in a real practical way or to be greater and uh, more bold in our evangelism efforts, that, Father God, the finances will be there. Lord, so we praise you, we give you glory, and we dedicate these gifts and these offerings to you this day. In Jesus' name, and all of God's people said, amen. He is risen. He is risen indeed. I'm so glad you joined us for our Easter worship this morning. I hope you were blessed, and I just pray that you will share this video 
Uh, you'll have your own watch party later on tonight. I will air this again at noon. If you couldn't watch it live, I'll air it noon through our regular Lexington Park members page and our public page. So those of you that maybe had any issues, you can watch it there. I also want to let you know that when you watch it, others can watch it. So please share this victorious worship service of the risen Lord with your friends and with your family members. And let's spread the gospel. Let's be digital disciples and let's be digital missionaries sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm so glad again that you worshiped with us. Even though it might have been virtually, you worshiped this Easter, the risen Lord, on a, in a way that you will never forget. Now it's my privilege to end our service with a blessing. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you. May he lift his countenance upon you. And may he give you his peace. Now go in Jesus' name. Amen.